Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here. Welcome back to another division video. Today we're going to be talking about the most efficient ways to farm the global event currency, which is now active. There is around five more days. Um, it says four hours and uh, or four days, 13 hours in the corner. So there's a good amount of time still left on this global event. And I've been getting this question quite frequently over the last couple of streams. What is the most efficient way to farm global event? currency. So we're going to be talking about that. I want to thank you guys so much for the questions that you guys have been asking because you asking those questions allows me to make these videos that can help a lot of people because if you have that question, most likely a lot of other people are going to have that question as well. So there are uh, two options if you're playing either solo or uh, with another player. And there's an option for if you're running with a full coordinated group. So we're going to talk about those things here. So the coordinated group, um, you do not need the DLC for any of these. Um, so it doesn't matter if you have the season pass or not. Uh, the first one is going to be Clear Sky. Now Clear Sky is by far the quickest incursion if you have a coordinated team and you can uh, basically make the proper builds around this. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to go here. If you have a full group, go to Heroic and and you're going to get 900 global event credits on top of the, I think you get like 150 from the boss as well. Um, and this is going to be doable in three to four minutes time if you are really quick on it. If you take a little bit longer, around like five, uh, six, maybe even seven or eight minutes, it's still really good because there's no loading screens. There's no, you know, having to wait for the NPC to walk over. There's no elevators. There's no doors that need to be opened. Um, Clear Sky is extremely quick. There's nothing in between. It's just straight down to the point. Um, and that's the most efficient way to get global event currency in the shortest amount of time right now. Um, however, uh, if you are solo or you're playing with one other, you know, teammate, that's not doable. You know, you need a full group of four with a coordinated builds in order to do that. Um, we're going to be talking about two options here. So the first option is the Lincoln Tunnel, which is a fairly easy mission that you can do uh, on challenging, which will give you, uh, if you click preemptive strike, you're going to be getting 875 global event credits, which is only 25 less than you will uh, during the incursion. But the incursion bosses drop like 150 global event credits, I want to say. And I think the mission bosses, uh, bosses only drop like maybe 38 or something. Um, I think it depends on how many bosses are in a mission or whatnot. Um, but Lincoln Tunnel is a good one because it's semi-easy. Uh, but the go-to, in my opinion, is actually Lexington Event Center. And that's what we're going to be playing today. And I'm going to explain to you why I think that this is the easiest for solo or duo squads. The reason is, is because most of the NPCs spawn in this mission out of doorways. And with the uh, global event modifier that allows for that chain explosion, um, it's going to allow you to clear these extremely quickly. Um, so we'll just go through here. We got to be a little bit careful. You don't want to be, you know, too close to them because you don't want to take that damage. Because if you want the extra 125 global event credits, you, you're going to have preemptive uh, strike on, which basically means that you can take damage and then you'll explode once you take a certain amount of damage. You'll be able to see the bar uh, right above your health. And there you go, you can see it there, and it does do damage to you um, from the grenades that get dropped, so you gotta be a little bit careful with that. But this is why I think Clear Sky is a little bit quicker if you have a full group, because even though you can burn through Lexington in like, I think, six, seven minutes, um, the problem is that there are some loading screens, there's some NPCs that like to kind of lollygag around sometimes. Uh, for example, Ramos, when you go up on the roof and he kind of just kind of, he just farts around a little bit too long. Um, you can do clear sky extremely fast. You're going to need a little bit of strategy. The best way to do it is to have everyone put on the, uh, the life support boxes which will pick up your team in a certain area um, and to put um, combat medic on and also uh, to put battle buddy on so that when you get down you can kind of just get up and uh, move the box as much as possible. You can move the boxes pretty easily if someone pops a defensive ult on top of uh, battle buddy and then you have your teammates basically just pop med kits and heals and pretty much everything that they got uh, in order to get you to that area there. Um, but you'll see here in a second, um, once I kill this NPC, uh, most, uh, 
if not all the NPCs are going to come out in waves and they come out of doors. So if you can stop them, um, I should be getting my super back or my uh, signature ability back here. Okay, here we go. So if you kill one, it'll do like a chain reaction and, and basically hit everything around in the area. Uh, I'm seeing shotguns. And also, if you run a final measure, um, it will help a lot with the with the mortars in clear sky and that makes it super easy as well if you have one running that so here we go they're gonna be spawning in this tight little doorway I'm gonna pop tactical link or get that guy killed and also if you're running commanding and determined you can uh, basically have tack link up all the time if you time it properly you just got to be careful though because you can kind of get pinballed a around a little bit and you can basically get folded like that as well so you got to pay attention to that as that was totally totally my bad that was completely my bad which means we have to do that all over again but like i said if you're with a duo partner you can do it pretty easily that, that was that was stupid okay that was that was my uh, being a little bit too cocky here. You kind of have to respect the global event uh, modifier. It can definitely make things a little bit harder. So this time around, I'm going to play a little bit smarter. So if you do end up wiping throughout this, don't don't feel bad about it. Everyone does it. Sometimes you just get really unexpected damage, especially with the modifiers. I'm going to heal here. Get that guy killed. And you basically just want to keep your, your distance a little bit. So we'll just do that. And we can probably do this part a lot easier this time. If I can get set up here. There's one more. Alright, here we go. We're going to nade that. And, and you'll see here, once you can basically just have one grenade go off, it'll, it'll hit them all pretty much. Here we go. So that's going to create chain reaction. A couple of grenades there will drop off. And your attack link basically goes forever if you kill enough with commanding. And determined it will just come off cooldown instantly. Alright, so let's uh, secure the hostage. We'll go upstairs. I kind of feel like a noob that I died there. But hey, happens to everybody. No matter you know how long you've been playing the game, sometimes you're just going to get caught off guard. But um, I think like duos are it's it's pretty pretty simple to go through this with a duo or even if a squad of three you can go through it really fast as long as you guys are using tack links, throwing grenades, using flame turrets to basically lock them in the doorways. Um, you can just like I said chain that damage and and you know pass through it extremely quick. But uh, I've been really excited for. This game, man, it's it's like a lot of people playing it. Some big streamers are trying it out. They're enjoying it. Um, a lot of people that had stopped playing The Division are coming back, and they're saying really good things about it. And it's it's nice. Uh, it's really nice to see people kind of passionate about the game again. It's it's finally starting to get uh, the recognition that this game deserves. I think we can all agree that that's something that it has never gotten. Um, let me back up a little bit here. You gotta watch that bar at the top. It can get, it can go up pretty quick, and then you're gonna start getting tumbled around. It reminds me of like 1.3 Reclaimer when people would just bounce you around like a pinball. We're gonna kill that guy. Throw a nade at him. You did. All right, so that's gonna chain to hit him. Which is good. This is a big dude here. Don't even need to shoot his backpack. Should be dying. There we go. But you'll see what I mean here in a second. About the, uh, the loading screens and how you kind of have to wait sometimes. Whereas Clear Sky doesn't really have any of those cutscenes, loading screens, waiting times. So it's, it's definitely the most efficient farm still by far. All right, let's get Ramos. He's going to basically just wobble around. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, let's go. I love this new jacket I ended up getting. I, I'm not really uh, too keen on wearing jackets, but I like how the front of it is kind of open, so you can still see the Barrett's chest piece and my, uh, my, I almost said Halloween, my Christmas sweatshirt underneath pretty dope all right we got tackling for this so we should 
be able to do it pretty smooth. I'm going to throw a flashbang just to kind of lock them in the doorway. And then we're going to instant we're going to basically instantly pop tack link. Wait a couple seconds. go got him gotta be careful you can get pinballed a little bit there all right let's do it let's go down see this is what i'm talking about with the cutscenes and like the uh, audio logs and whatnot it takes a little bit it slows down the mission even though you can burn through this really fast um it doesn't matter how fast you're really burning through the encounters because like i said you're waiting for this we need to wait for the door to close but i i think um for solo and duos and even three-man squads and you just can't find that fourth member um these are pretty decent ways to get a lot of global event tokens you, you can get them pretty fast you'll get around like 900 in like a seven eight minute interval if you if you do it quickly and you don't die like i did that was really stupid all right we got to be a little bit cautious of this room here because the shotgunners can uh do a lot of damage really quick and if they do a lot of damage really quick, then they're going to be dropping bombs. He's about dead. Got him. Guy in the back. Where you at, boy? Show your face. Alright, there we go. Now, same thing here. If you have a group of two, you can lock them in the, in the rooms pretty hardcore. So drop that. Then it will put on the debuff. Stagger. Stagger him. We got one guy back there. Whoa. Gotta be careful. Gotta pay attention to that damage bar. Hit that stagger there. And that, sh that should chain reaction. All of them, hopefully. Oh, boss is joining me. Okay, well... Maybe he'll hop in here. I kind of just wanted to show you guys that we could do this solo, but I might leave the squad. Yeah, I, lo I love you, boss, but I want to I wanna show people that this is soloable. Hopefully it doesn't. All right, let me put on. That's my fault for having it be open. Uh, did I put it on? Open, private. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just don't want people to be like, I tried this solo and I can't do it, so I rather do go through this solo just to kind of show you guys that it's a very doable solo. Not not to mention that the NPCs scale with uh, how many people are in a in a group. So if it's just you, the NPCs are gonna be a lot squishier. So if you have a really good PVE build, you can burn through this like instantaneously. I like I said, I highly suggest having commanding and determined on so you can get those uh, tack links up very very commonly and. Um, if they're coming up like really quickly, you can basically have them for all the the door parts. All right, let's get some shots off here. We could probably just straight up kill this dude. All right, I want to move up. Hopefully, we can get there before they come out of the door. Here we go. There, got him. That's going to be chain reaction there. Let's go over here. Get that kill. That kill. Melt that guy a little bit. Try to get out of here. Let's go up here. Got him. Shoot his pouch. He's gone. Shoot his pouch. That splash damage. And there you go. Not a bad run. I think we have one more guy left. And you're done. Boom. 
875 global event uh, credits right there. Boom. And we can see how much you get for Larray. Uh, you get 38, okay, so you don't get 100. But that's basically uh, 900 credits, and like I said, you can get it down to like 7-8 minutes. Um, solo around like 9-ish, most likely. But it's definitely the most efficient way uh, for solo and duos. And then, like I said, Clear Sky is still the way to go for groups. But if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys so you know... It's the quickest way to get the global event tokens. Don't forget, you can also do your HVTs. HVTs are a really good way to do it as well because you get to kill a lot of bosses in most instances and uh, you can get a lot of credits that way. But there's tons of ways to get credits. There's just always going to be those most efficient ways and uh, it's always going to be Clear Sky and Lexington. You always want those really quick uh, missions and you know, like I said, Lincoln Tunnel, you could try it out if you want to mix it up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop the video a like if you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. I'm just warming up, and they label me a veteran. Rookie of the year, when I started, I was peddling these CDs out my trunk. Speakers louder than an elephant.